Nice to see you. I'm Khadar Juktai and you're watching my YouTube channel School of Advanced Chemistry. Today I'm going to explain how to obtain the answer of enthalpy change from bond energy data. It's a part of your new syllabus. So let's get started. The basic question is how to calculate enthalpy change delta H of a chemical reaction using average bond energy data and vice versa. I mean, if you're having bond energy data, then you should be able to calculate the answer of enthalpy change delta H. And if you're having the, and if you're having the answer of delta H, then you should be able to find the answer of missing bond energies and so on. Let's talk about it, how to solve these sort of questions. First of all, the basic formula is delta H is equal to total bond energy of the reactants minus total bond energy of the product. So the total bond energy of the reactant minus total bond energy of the product. Or you can say that delta H is also equal to energy absorbed to break the bonds or to break the old bonds minus energy released on forming new bonds. Unit of enthalpy change is kilojoule per mole. So enthalpy change is basically with respect to one mole. Kilojoule means energy that is being absorbed or released with respect to one mole that is said to be delta H. These are the standard unit of enthalpy change. So I'm going to solve an example with respect to this formula i mean bond energy of the reactant minus bond energy of the product for example for example just have a look we are having the two mole of two mole of methanol is allowed to react with oxygen that is a combustion reaction to make two mole of co2 and four mole of h2o so the first thing is change these reactants and product into displayed formula if you're not having any sort of displayed formula if displayed formula is not given into the question. So the first thing is change them into displayed structures or displayed formula. In this case, the formula is already given. So I'm going to start, I'm going to apply this basic formula of enthalpy change with respect to bond energy. Here you can see that one mole of methanol is having three CH bond, one CO bond, one OH bond. Similarly, one mole of oxygen molecule is having one OO double bond. Oxygen, oxygen, double bond. Now, on the right hand side, you can see that CO2, this is the displayed formula of CO2. One molecule is having C double bond O. This is the second C double bond O. So two C double bond O's are over here in one mole of CO2 or in one molecule of CO2. In one molecule of H2O, you can say there are the two OH bond. O single bond H, O single bond H. In one molecule of water, there are two OH bond. Now in this equation, we are using two mole of methanol, three mole of oxygen, two mole of carbon dioxide, and four mole of water. I'm going to write this... Uh, in form of this equation in form of bonds, different bonds. Two, that is the mole, multiply into three into CH bond, three CH bond are over here, plus one is CO bond, plus one OH bond is over here. The whole is multiplied by two, plus three mole of O double bond O. So this is the story of the reactant. Similarly for the products, two mole in two. Overall, two moles of C double bond O is present over here. CO into two, I mean two mole of CO bond. Here are the four mole, overall moles multiply by two moles of OH bond. OH plus OH, two moles of OH bonds are over here. Now I'm going to put the answer of these bond energy. CH is equal to 410. I am putting 410 over here. C single bond O is equal to 360. I'm putting 360 over here. 
OH bond is equal to 460 and here is the 460 plus 3 and 2 O double bond O is equal to 500 kilojoules per mole so 500 over here similarly in case of product the C double bond O C double bond O is equal to 805 bond energy and OH is equal to 460 bond energy overall answer on the left hand side is equal to 5600 and the answer on the right hand side is equal to 6900 so 5600 minus 6900 bond energy of the reactant minus bond energy of the product is equal to the enthalpy change but this time this enthalpy is for two moles because we are using two mole of methanol so the answer for the one mole is equal to minus 650 minus 650 and as the sign is negative so this reaction is exothermic reaction and here is the answer with respect to one mole of combustion of methanol i'm again using this formula delta h is equal to bond energy of the reactant minus bond energy of the product in this case in this example the reaction between chlorine and carbon monoxide can be represented as shown. Cl bond, Cl, CO goes to, this is C double bond, O, Cl and Cl. When one mole of chlorine react with one mole of carbon monoxide, one mole of carbon monoxide, one mole of chlorine, two, three, zero kilojoules of the energy is released i mean this is the answer of delta h now this time the answer of delta h is given over here some bond energies are also shown in the table or shown in the table i mean clcl is equal to 240 c double bond o is equal to 745 c single bond cl is equal to 400 use the information to calculate energy of the bond between carbon and oxygen in carbon monoxide so i am using the similar formula once again i mean delta h is equal to delta h is equal to bond energy total bond energy of the reactant minus total bond energy of the product so what are the reactants delta h is given that is equal to 230 and energy is released so i am putting minus over here as the energy is released two three zero and bond energy of the reactant i mean cl cl plus c o c o whole minus bond energy of the product one is c double bond o C double bond O plus there are two C C L bonds, two and two C C L bond, and now the time is to put the values of the bond energy of these C C L and uh, C double bond O C C L C L bond and so on. So minus two thirty is equal to CLCL bond energy is equal to to 40 plus let's suppose the bond energy of CO is equal to X minus C double bond O is equal to 745 plus 2 into 400 I mean CCL that is equal to 800 so we can write it over here i mean 745 plus 800 is equal to this one is equal to 1545 minus that is equal to 240 plus x and that is equal to minus 230 so uh, we can write it over here minus 230 plus 1545 
that is equal to 240 plus x and x is equal to minus 230 plus 14545 minus 240. So x is equal to plus 1075 plus 1075. In this case, for example, the question is gaseous phosphorus 3 chloride react with gaseous chlorine to form gaseous phosphorus 5 chloride, PCL5. PCL3 plus Cl2 goes to PCL5. This is PCL3. This is one mole of Cl2 and this is one mole of PCL5. Bond energies are given. PCL bond energy is equal to 3, 2, 6. CLCL bond energy is equal to Two, four, three. First step is energy needed to break the bond. Energy needed to break the bond. This is the portion of reactant where the bonds are going to broken down. So how many PCL bonds are there? One, two and three. Three PCL bonds are over here plus one bond is CL, CL bond. So what is the energy needed to break the bond? That is three and two. 3, 2, 6, plus 2, 4, 3. So, 3 and 2, 3, 2, 6, plus 2, 4, 3, and the answer is 1, 2, 2, 1. Energy released when bonds are formed. This is the portion where bonds are supposed to be formed or there is the forming new bond. Five PCL bonds are over here and energy released when bonds are formed. Five PCL bonds, just five PCL bond, I mean five into three to six. So five into three to six is equal to one six three zero energy change of the reaction is equal to basically as i told you uh, energy needed to break the bond minus energy released so i mean one One, two, two, one minus one, six, three. So the answer is minus four, o oh, nine. Deduce whether the energy change for this reaction is exo or endo. Explain your answer. The reaction is exothermic. As the sign of energy change that is also delta H is negative. I hope it will clear your concept about the enthalpy change regarding the bond energy data. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.